Hey, what up everybody? This is Stephen Breach coming to you. What an end to a great pay-per-view tonight here with the uh, Kevin Owens versus Finn Balor special. I will tell you that honestly, this isn't the greatest match I've ever seen all, all time. This isn't the greatest ladder match of all time. But this was a very fun match and I just realized that I brought this pudding in here to eat during the show. And I never even opened it. That's how good the show was tonight. There was no downtimes uh, to really watch anything. Um, all really good matches. All they really uh, all really good. All really did deliver. Um, but uh, this this match right here, this is why we were all here. Um, the uh, Sasha versus uh, Bailey match was the co-main event. But I think in my mind, honestly, I was really hoping for Kevin Owens and, and uh, Finn Balor to have one hell of a ladder match here. Uh, just for the main reason that this is a great commercial for NXT. This is something for, for you know that a lot of people that if you have the network, you're watching this uh, because it is live. It's a big deal. Um, and, I, and if you're watching this, this this is the shit. They, you don't have ladder matches every fucking Wednesday night on NXT, but this is what gets us to here. You have really, really great matches. Even last week's NXT, um, that it was all jobber matches leading up to the pay-per-view, was a fun show. It's only one hour. It's on Wednesdays um, when nothing uh, is really else is going on now that Lucha Underground is gone. But, um, you know, Finn Balor is one of the most special things that there is in wrestling. And, and him being on NXT is, is one reason to make sure you go watch it to make sure you don't miss any of this guy's matches. Um, Owens and, and Balor both came down. Of course, Balor had one hell of an entrance. I think it's really cool that he does this special. We only get to see it about once every four months on these NXT specials. Um, you know, I like the way now that he incorporates the NXT Championship into his crawl to the ring where it's just set on the belt and then he climbs down and he sort of grabs it like Gotham from Lord of the Rings would, would grab like the ring if he, if he was able to get his hands on it. Um, and, and he sort of carries it to the ring from there. Um, it's a great way to incorporate it into there. But uh, I don't see how these guys um, were able to go the way that they did. They beat the hell out of each other. I don't even know how the ladders were able to stand. Basically, at one point, uh, the ladder was on the ground, and it was it was, it was was uh, here. And, you know, Kevin Owens took a power bomb through um, the support beams. And then immediately, Finn Balor stacked it up and then started climbing it up there. I like the fact that this was more of a scaled down. It wasn't, you know, it was a WWE show, but it wasn't WWE production. Uh, I like that they didn't have the WWE orange ladders that they would have out there for Money in the Bank or the they're, they're red or whatever color they are. These were just regular black letters with some white tape that were wrapped around them that they sort of incorporate the um, color um, that the uh, scheme that they went with, as Miguel was calling it, the NWO sold out colors. But really, really fun match. Um, you know, definitely, um, you know, uh, Finn Balor climbed up to the top. Of, uh, the, well, he wasn't even climbing up the, the top of the ladder. He was dragged up the top of the ladder by Kevin Owens, who had put a ladder in between the ladder and the bottom rope. Um, he went up to the top, and he was in a suplex Finn Balor off through it, but Finn Balor was able to um, um, fight back and be able to get the victory and ended up Kevin Owens falling off the top of the ladder. But because of the placement of the ladder, he wasn't able to grab the ladder because he was reaching. It was farther out than where he was because when, when uh, Kevin Owens had set this up, it was for the spot for him to go through the ladder. It wasn't for him to grab the championship. Um, he would have you know hit the move and then moved the ladder over and climbed up again. But Kevin Owens was able to uh, come to and able to uh, go go back up to the top of the ladder and attack uh, Finn Balor, who was trying to find a way desperately to get to the belt. Um, but he was knocked down uh, by um, a kick uh, from Finn Balor and uh Finn climbed up to the top and delivered the Coupe de Grasse up the top, um, then went up to the top of the ladder once again and grabbed the belt uh, to become NXT champion, well, to stay NXT champion. Um, Kevin Owens took one hell of a beating, though, that he has to go out there and wrestle Cesaro tomorrow. A great pay-per-view, top to bottom. I believe this was five matches. All really good. I had a lot of fun. Hope you guys did, too. Uh, peace out, everybody. Like I said, hope this makes it where you guys watch NXT every Wednesday, like I will be from now on.